everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video here from Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand. So today we're going to be exploring one of the biggest markets in Thailand and it's the Chiang Mai Sunday night market. So we spent a bit of time in Chiang Mai at the beginning of the year. If you watched our videos, you'll know. Um, and we never got to actually visit this Sunday night market. So we're really, really excited. We're after walking by it there and it looks very, very busy. So yeah, it's very, very popular. But uh, this is the last stop on our trip, our Southeast Asia trip. So we do have some presents to bring back. So we're gonna see if we can get a few deals and pick up some bits. I definitely feel like I'm in the right place for some crazy reason. I forgot to eat today, so I am absolutely starving. So there's no better place to be uh, than these Thai markets. There's just full of so many different types of food. If you've been watching our videos all along, we always talk about Thai food and how much we love it. So yes, we are definitely in <laughs> the right place tonight. So much food already. <laughs> There's actually endless amount of options. Like we've spent so much time in Thailand and we still haven't eh, half the stuff that we're looking at. There's so many options, seriously. Oh my God, I'm back with stuff. Hello. Oh, it's rammed. It's rammed, isn't it? <laughs> So straight off the bat, a lot of handmade crafted kind of stuff, which is you don't always get in markets in Thailand. Sometimes they generally will sell the same sort of stuff. But here, there seems to be a lot more of that, more kind of personal items. You can actually see on the side as well, people actually making the products as they sell them in the market. So it's pretty cool, pretty unique. They're t-shirts. That's amazing, honestly. Like he's literally painting them there. That's really, really cool. <laughs> so I think it's easier. They're the coconut shell, mm. and you make this. Oh, yeah. really? oh my god, down there. Also coconut. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Did you make them? No. No, someone else. <laughs> okay. They're very, very nice. Yeah. We love the lamb. Yeah, the lamps are gorgeous. Yeah. We have, our first we have some presents. <laughs> our first purchase of the day. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Cup So we've broken our ducks with the present buying. Uh, usually it takes a bit longer to actually make that first purchase, but we're getting a bit better with markets where we just get straight in, get stuck in, and yeah, I think it just sets the tone down for the rest of the day. First impressions regarding prices, it does seem slightly cheaper, marginally, like not a huge amount cheaper than some of the other markets that we've seen in Bangkok and things like that. But for example, like you might get something for 40 baht, here it might be 30 baht, so it's just marginally cheaper. So many rings. <laughs> So yeah, they pretty much sell everything. We even seen they have some Christmas decorations. <laughs> we were like, okay, it is October, but uh, probably still a little bit early. <laughs> Stopped for food. We can't go anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we stopped for a bit of food, and of course we had to get the signature dish for the north of Thailand, which is khao soi. And we both have never tried it yet since we've been in Thailand. It smells delicious, honestly. This is ours here, so they also did a vegetarian option, which is amazing. So Keelan was able to get it. They have one with tofu, and I went for the chicken one. Uh, no chili, it's okay. Thank you. This is a very honest one. <laughs> So this is the cow soy, and it's basically like a blend of like crispy noodles and then like uh, your normal noodles, wet noodles, and then it's in like a curry, creamy curry broth. I got it with chicken. Um, I can also see some uh, coriander. I can actually smell the coriander from it as well. And there's some like cabbage and also some like red onion mixed in. So it smells delicious. I honestly can't wait to try this. I'm a huge fan of the, the crispy noodles, you usually get them with pad thai. Obviously they're included in khao soy as well, but they're so nice. And then with all the the, the creamy sort of sauce, the noodles then go soft. Gorgeous, mine's with tofu. Bit of a tiny little bit of a spice off it. 
really, really good. I honestly can't believe that we have never tried this in all the time that we've spent in Thailand. <laughs> this has become probably one of my new favorite dishes. It's absolutely beautiful, honestly. There's a little like hint of, I think, like coconut off the curry and it just sort of hits your throat. There's like a little bit of a spice, but it's not too spicy. Oh, yeah. So one really interesting thing that I learned about uh, Asian cuisine and Thai culture and stuff, and you know, just how you eat with um, chopsticks, for example, the slurp actually makes the food taste better. So I thought it was a just a logistical thing. You know, you eat food with chopsticks, you have the slurp, especially with noodles, but now apparently, when you do it that way, you get every single part of the flavor, which I thought was really interesting. why the queue was so big for this. It seems really, really popular, but it's the way they had them made. They were just in two big pots, joint pots, as if they were like pre-made, and one was like a vegetarian, and then one was chicken. I think they might have had a pork one as well. But um, some people were actually getting it for a takeaway. She asked me, did I want it for here, a takeaway? And they're actually filling them into bags for people to bring home. <laughs> That's how good it is. Right, so empty bowls, not a drop left. <laughs> That's how good it was, honestly. It was the most perfect blend of flavors in that dish. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, also on prices, it was 140 baht for the two of them, so they were 70 baht each, which is really, really good. Thai food is always worth it, so delicious. But uh, for now, anyway, we're going to go and explore some more of the market. Always runny nose every time we eat Thai food. Must be the spices or something. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just after leaving a food section of the market. So when we walked into the market, there's like endless amounts of uh, food stalls. This was sort of like a designated area and they had some like tables and chairs around as well. Loads of people were just sitting down. Really, really nice atmosphere. They had so much different types of food from obviously Thai food. They also had Japanese food, a um, whole sushi stall as well, like with so many uh, different types of sushi. It looked amazing. Uh, even Indian food as well we've seen. And then of course, loads of different desserts. So no end to food, just even walking through it and smelling it all it's like oh my god so one real unique thing to this market is that the surrounding areas are full of temples now Chiang Mai is notorious for temples Thailand in general is notorious for temples but Chiang Mai in particular has some of the best in the country so when we were walking around the market we could spot this kind of glare this kind of sparkle and we're just looking up and next of all we just see these beautiful temples they're here behind me and uh, I'm not too sure of the name of them but we actually are, are allowed to go in and uh, once you take your shoes off, you can go in, they kind of open to anyone to just go in and take a few minutes from the crazy, uh, the craziness of the markets. But yeah, it's just a very unique market. We haven't been to one yet, like we've been to a few in Bangkok and it's just in the middle of the city. Here is surrounded by all these kind of beautiful buildings and all, it's really, really nice. We're just after coming across another temple. The temples are stunning, just check this one out, honestly. <laughs> I can see the big Buddha statue, like right through the gate here. Just people just getting pictures because it is absolutely beautiful. We can go in. We can go in, yeah, take yeah. off your shoes. Right, let's go in. Absolutely beautiful these temples, they really are. I always feel a bit strange filming inside them because obviously we want to be respectful. But uh, we do see a lot of people with their phones out taking pictures and stuff like that. I was just kind of leaning into the side and just kind of hide out. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. They all are, just the way that they're designed and the detail in how they're put together. They have an altar over here with loads of like flowers and offerings. So like you can actually see like these places tourists come in, like we sat in Samantha, but then there's also like local toys that come in and you'll see them praying as well. They just come up to the altar and they might leave an offering and they might um, say a few prayers or whatever and then leave, but it's very, very nice. So you can see why it's only open on a Sunday. There's some set up like yeah. 
in this, isn't there? Like, yeah. this is another yeah. sort of strip that we're coming along. So we don't know how big it actually is or where it stops. <laughs> There's actually so much to look at. My head is literally going from left to right. I don't know where to be looking. I think it's like that, especially when you're in, you're here for something in particular. Like, we sort of have a few things that we want to pick up as presents. So it's like you're looking at everything to make sure you're not going to miss anything. But uh, yeah, just there's so much stuff. Right, we're officially lost. And where we are? It just goes on and on and on. You just walk, you're just programmed to just keep walking and keep looking left and right. There's no end to it, but all I can say is we're doing some great shopping. <laughs> Right, we're gonna have a little game. We've spotted something that we haven't seen in other markets, and it's these right here. They look like uh, big use Japanese umbrellas. So we're gonna Gorgeous. we're gonna price one. I'm going with a thousand baht. You're guessing thousand. Like it's very hard to guess. I don't know. They are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm sure they're probably hand painted as well. So I'm guessing 800 baht. Okay. But as well, they have different sizes, so it depends. So probably like 800 baht for a small one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we I mean? both it's could like, win this game. We could both, yeah, it's like small, medium. So I'm going to say 800 for the small one, the medium one, a thousand, and the large I'm going to say 1200. We could be way off here. But <laughs> we'll see, Royce Maddy. Right, let's go on. Ask, ask the question there. <laughs> Jeez, I was way off the big ones, 350, and the small ones, 250. Where was I going with a thousand baht? Oh my god, you were so off. And 350 and 250. That's really good. 200 for the t uh, small one, so this one here. Right. It's 200 baht, and then this one is 350 baht. Jesus, now would we get it on the plane into our luggage? I don't know, you'd be afraid it would break, wouldn't you, with yeah, the stuff that yeah. we have? <laughs> I know I said it already, but honestly, anything you can think of is actually here. Like, there's some stalls you come across and you're like, oh my god, they have everything. And then they also have like musicians and stuff playing music. It's just a really lovely atmosphere and a lovely vibe. Like, that's actually like a music stall where they're actually selling these like handmade sort of instruments. It's just really, really lovely, honestly. We were getting a really nice vibe from it. I don't know if it's because it's like in the evening time, is it, as well, walking around? Surprise, surprise, another food section. <laughs> Again, it's at another gorgeous temple. We're just looking at the seats. They're actually quite miniature. <laughs> they're so small, look at the little tables. Yeah, they're tiny. Actually, sit on them. There's people sitting on them, yeah. Like, <laughs> they hold you. <laughs> What's the size of them? <laughs> I don't know if I'd get bow cheeks on that. Yeah. <laughs> the tiny little table though. Oh. Now you can sit there, yeah. Good, good luck with them, they're tiny. <laughs> One takeaway from this uh, night market is you may leave your haggle at home. Not really much wiggle room with them. You kind of, a lot of the the items as well are already marked with a price and then uh, like you can a small bit but like not just with our experience but also as we're walking through the market you can hear people trying to get a, a lower price and generally it's just like no this is what the price is so yeah I don't think your haggle would be uh, much use to you in this market Asia in general is so polite. Like when I'm walking around with the camera and I'm taking pictures, shooting some B-roll and stuff like that, and they just sort of stand behind you and wait until like you're finished. They're so polite, so courteous. Really, really a pleasant place to be. And especially if you're filming, they're just so nice, honestly. Okay, so we're just getting ready to leave the market. So just on opening times for it, it opens at 5 p.m. So it is a night market and it closes at 10 p.m. So it's nearly 10 now. So we can actually see a lot of the stalls are nearly closing. But uh, we arrived in just after six, so we're walking around about four hours. <laughs> you honestly don't feel, I can't believe we're walking around four know, hours, yeah. can you? But uh, it was definitely worth it, honestly. So much to look at and uh, 
so much to see and just a lovely atmosphere and vibe walking around as well. Very, very relaxed for a market. So if you're in Chiang Mai and you happen to be here on a Sunday, definitely pop down and check out the Sunday night market. Also, when you're leaving, there's no shortage on taxis or tuk-tuks. They're all sort of gathered outside. Uh, a couple of them are asking us, but we actually have our own transport. So we mm -hmm. hired a bike in Chiang Mai because uh, we are staying a little bit out of the old town. I think it's about a 20 minute, 25 minute drive. But we hired it with a company called Cat Motors. And I will leave the link of them in our description below. So if you are in Chiang Mai and you're looking to hire a bike, Definitely go and check, the, check them out. They have like loads of different bikes. We just got the basic one, but they do have some fancier bikes, like if you're into your biking. Um, and as well, Chiang Mai is great for it. It's a big mountainous region. So it's known to sort of go biking here. Good morning. So we've actually forgot to close out the video yesterday when we were at the market. So I'm going to do that now. Um, in relation to the market, I thought it was really, really good. It was one of the best markets that we've been to in Thailand. We would have liked him to show you a little bit more about what we bought and the prices and things like that. But like we said earlier, we're going home to Ireland after 13 months in Asia. We're going home very, very soon. So we didn't really want to give too much away regarding presents and things like that, because they are for family and friends. So, But if you did like the video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up just to support our channel. If you're coming to Thailand, we have done so many videos from Thailand already. We were here for six months earlier in the year. So if you are coming to Thailand and you're interested in these type of videos, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. So yes, as you can see behind me, we are at the Mai Tai Camp Resort here in Chiang Mai. It's our second time to be back here. Uh, we were here in February of uh, 2023, so earlier this year for a month. We made some videos, which I'll leave in the description of this, uh, of this video, but yeah, highly, highly recommend it. A lot of people now are coming to Thailand and including, you know, doing a Mai Tai Camp in um, in their Thailand itinerary, and we, we recommend it as well. It's absolutely amazing, even if you're not, sporty or you're worried about it it's just it's so much fun and it's a good workout as well so we absolutely love it that's why we're back so that's what we're going to do now so again going to close the video out here uh, thanks very much for watching leave a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and yeah we'll see you in the next one